What the? No. Where the hell is she? Lass? Angelfish? Answer me. Arg, damn it. Useless lunkheads. I'll have their hides if they let her slip past them. Still, she couldn't have gotten far. Hmm? Just what do we have here? There you are. What's the meaning of this? Trying to escape again, were you? Then what in the Dread King's name were you doing under the bed? Oh. Well, I... I suppose I can't blame you there. A storm at sea can be mighty terrifying. Still, you damn near made me keel over. When I saw the tub lying on its side, all the water gone, I thought, Arg, at least you had the sense not to try and go out on deck. You would have been washed overboard. Not even you could swim with that chain still on your tail. It's all right, Moss. Don't be afeard. All that creaking and groaning is just the rose fighting back. We may get tossed about a bit, but we're safe within her hull, I promise you. So long as I've known her, she's never let me down. Now, I know the wind be howling like a pack of ravenous wolves, but you should at least try to get some rest. Hmm. I won't be able to refill the tub till the storm passes, but... Ah, to hell with it. Why don't you bunk with me for the night? That's right. Me bed's big enough for two. One of the privileges of being a captain. Just for one night, mind. Don't get used to it. What? No. No. I'm not planning any funny business. I swear. I just thought it might be more comfortable than the floor. You might wake up with legs again, but from what you told me, it ought to be all right for one day. If you'd rather sleep on wooden planks, though, be my guest. <laughs> I thought not. All right, let me just hoist you up and... Ah! Oh, it's... it's nothing. I'm all right. Let's... Get you up onto the bed. There we go. Blimey, you're still trembling. You really must be terrified. Oh, easy does it now. <laughs> One might think you were a barnacle the way you're clinging on to me. Still, if it brings you comfort, I can't say that I might. All right, angelfish, I'm here. I won't let anything happen to ye. At least, not as far as the storm is concerned. <clears throat> ah, don't worry about it, lass. It's just me shoulder. An old wound from back when I first met Barlow. Likes to flare up with the weather it does. Heal me? Ha. Good try, lass, but I'll not be fallen for that one. I'm not about to become the victim of some strange merfolk curse. What? But why? I doubt even magic like yours could cure a wound as old as mine, but even if it could, why bother? I, well, arg. All right. If you insist. Which shoulder? Oh, uh, the left one. Pull me shirt aside. <laughs> and here, I was the one who said no funny business. Aye, that's the spot. Your hands are so soft. So... How does this magic of yours work, then? What are you going to... 
Jaime, it's the pain. The pain's gone. How in the name of me ship? By the dread king, I can move it again. Smooth as a fifth of rum. It's as if I were a lad again. Thank you, angelfish. But again, why? With everything I've done to you, and everything I'm still going to do, why would you heal the very man who's planning to sell ye? I'm just as much a victim of fate as you are. Ha! Throwing me own words back at me, eh? You're a rare one, angelfish. I could look a thousand years or more and never find someone like you. Arr. Boons, I've got to stop running me mouth around ye. But I, twas Barlow who sliced me up in the first place. Do you always ask so many questions? Mayhap I should start calling you Parrotfish instead. All right. <sighs> it was back when I was a lad. I grew up in a small village on the Emerald Coast with me mother. Then one night, out of the blue, Barlow attacked. I remember the screams, the glow of fire from outside. I yelled to mother that we had to run. But then the door caved in, and there was Barlow, eyes burning like a demon out of hell. Mother tried to shield me, but next thing I knew, she was lying in front of me, still as the sea after a storm. I ran straight at Barlow. I didn't even think. I was ready to tear him apart with me bare hands or die trying. He just laughed, took me down with a single blow. I thought I was done for, but he said he might have a place for a scrappy pup like me. Next thing I knew, I woke up on his ship. Our whole village was gone. The mother, everything. And well, the rest you already know. Hmm? Oh, thank you, angelfish. Usually, I can't stand anyone feeling sorry for me, but it's different somehow coming from you. Blimey, why can't I ever keep me damn mouth shut around you? Somehow, you just make me want to talk to you. You don't mind. That's... That's mighty kind of you. It's been a long time since I had anyone willing to listen. I... Er... I can't say I'd be good at it, but... If you need anyone to return the favor, I'd be happy to try. Well, it looks like the worst of the storm has passed. Things should be calmer from here on out. You should get some rest. Here. Mayhap we can take off the chain for a bit. Don't see how you'll manage to get a wink of sleep with it on. Soft? Me? Don't be ridiculous. I just don't like the feel of cold metal in me bed. That's all. Besides... It's not like you'll be able to get away without me knowing if I'm right next to ye. Now, shut your pretty eyes and go to sleep, you hear? Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Got to keep you from wandering off, don't I? Hi. You can keep holding me if you wish. If... If you're cold, mayhap I could do the same. Angelfish, I, for what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. I wish it didn't have to be... Hmm? 
No, it's nothing. Never you mind. Good night then, me lass. Sleep well. Hello, my sparkles of adventure. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you. I'd also like to thank Ritz Savvy for this script. Um, it's been a lot of fun doing this series. Um, if any of you have been struggling, I want to remind you that all bad times end, all storms clear, all um, bad luck eventually goes away, um, but it, it might not seem like that in the moment in time that you're in. There's more support for you than you might think that there is out there, so don't give up, don't give in to despair, and shine because your light is unique and no one else can shine the way that you do, even if it's a little dim due to those dark times. With that in mind, I'll see you next time.